Today we are learning new details about the woman accused of killing her father and six-year-old daughter in Florida. That woman, Cheyenne Jesse, grew up in both Walker and Catoosa counties. News Channel 9's Stephanie Stanisasi joins us now with more on the investigation. Stephanie. Kelvin Latricia, after posting yesterday's story on our News Channel 9 Facebook page, we found other people who knew Cheyenne Jesse. Today we talked to a woman who went to middle school with her, and she explains what Jesse was like growing up. Cheyenne Jesse grew up in North Georgia and went to Ringgold Middle School. We were friends. We went to three years of middle school together. Holly Bridges tells us how Jesse acted in school back then. She was uh, a little strange, but I didn't know that she had the bipolar then, but it was a little strange. According to Jesse's aunt and uncle, Janice and Steve Weekly, Jesse was diagnosed with bipolar disorder when she was eight years old. According to Florida police, on July 18th, Jesse got in a fight with her father, Mark Weekly, before she killed him. She's also accused of shooting and stabbing her six year old daughter, Meredith, to death before hiding both bodies. Jesse's family got a call from her on July 28th saying her dad and daughter were missing to cover up the murder, but her stories didn't match up. Supposedly, Mark was supposed to have cancer. She couldn't answer which doctor he went to see, what kind of cancer. Jana says her stories always seem to contradict themselves. So when they found out Jesse confessed to the murder, they realized why she was beginning to make up stories. It just all started falling back into place, all the comments and everything that she had said beforehand. But for Jesse's former classmate, Polly Bridges, this was a big surprise. I was shocked because I couldn't believe it. She did it because she was, she was friendly too in school and quiet, and I just couldn't believe she did it. Cheyenne Jesse will appear in a Florida court again on September 8th. Depend on us to let you know what happens, Calvin. Thanks, Stephanie.